Hello everybody, welcome to my Birds of Prey movie review, or as the movie is better known, Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. I mean, later I think it was called Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey. I don't know, I don't care. Now, I was against this movie coming out, not because it's women or anything like that, but because this is from the old guard, Zack Snyderverse. And I think DC would do well to distance themselves from that travesty. Now, Margot Robbie is great in Harley Quinn. They did not need to do all these Birds of Prey things. I did not care about any of the characters. Sure, there was kind of some interesting, there were some interesting things, but I did not care. Harley, or uh, uh, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn was great. Um, I don't know that I got, like, a, a feminist kind of uh, deal, really. It was just, I actually started falling asleep at one point during the movie. It was when they were doing some background stuff with Black Canary. Um, I didn't care. I just, I like didn't care. Uh, I felt like it, it dragged on there a bit too long. Uh, Rosie Perez, uh, so she got fired from the cops and became a vigilante. None of that made any sense to me. I didn't care. It's, it's, this movie's directed by Kathy Yan. Um, and I don't really know anything else that she's done. Uh, I haven't seen any of her other movies. Uh, so, the way this was written, there were a couple scenes that I liked. And I heard that they had some uh, action directed by the guys who did John Wick. And I think you can tell. There's one scene, there's this really cool scene where uh, she's fighting with a baseball bat. That was so freaking cool. And that was right after. So I was falling asleep. And then kind of like I started to come back around. And then that scene started. And it, like, it brought me back into the movie. It was great. There was that. And there was this chase scene involving a sandwich. Um, those two uh, scenes were the best scenes of the movie. I had fun. And then it's clear the other action scenes just didn't make any sense. There's a scene where she's fighting on roller skates. Uh, that is the worst thing you could possibly do you have you can't throw a punch you can't do anything you, someone can just push you lightly and you'll fall on your butt that was a horrible idea no one can fight on roller skates terrible and i didn't buy these these chicks have no power like the, the scene with the bat i got it she's got a bat um, and the way it was being used was was incredible it really showed her fighting ability I heard another review complain. Where'd she learn to fight? It's fine. Okay. She, you know, whatever. We're waiting for the Joker. She trained. Whatever. I can fill that in. Um, but I, the Birds of Prey did not need to be in this. I think that's residual, for, again, from the Snyderverse, of them desperate to make teams and other things. Which is why this James Gunn uh, Suicide Squad 2, I just don't care about it. They need to abandon all that stuff. They're seeing that they can make good movies. They don't need to connect anything. Uh, it's it's just, I, I don't know. Throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks, I guess. Um, but anyway, um, I give this movie a 50 out of 100. And I'd call it superfluous. It is a superfluous movie. It is average. Um, it will be forgotten in time. And, you know, I don't care about the, you know, woke and all this. It's just was, I was bored. I didn't care about the birds of prey. I don't think that the feminism was too overdone, although I could see how, I, I could see how for a feminist this could be, that didn't like men, I could see how this could satisfy them a little bit. Um, I didn't care too much, you know, whatever. And, the movie, did, I don't think it did that that well. It might break even. I don't know. I don't care. I'm checked out of anything to do with Zack, Snyder, Zack Snyder's creations. So anyways, let me know what you guys thought. Uh, leave me comments below. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Okay, bye.